Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a classic Huawei laptop with a classic fault. This is an i5 CPU and i graphics. Pressing the power button, dead. No, actually it's coming on, check here. No, no, it's working. Okay. Yeah, it's still working, still working. The problem with this one, let's check the customer email. The customer is saying USB-C, charging port is loose. Just like on your video, please go to replace the port. And the customer attached a picture with, um, with the laptop model. But the story is getting more interesting. It's uh, a gentleman called Dan. Um, the motherboard was replaced under warranty about three months ago by Huawei or their repair agent and have seen to damage it again. So the board was replaced by Huawei, which is strange because if they replace the board, the new board should come with the warranty also. Then the customer is asking, is there any way to actually straighten the charging port mechanically or it's just a question of me being too rough with uh, it? And what do you think it was my answer to the customer? Hmm? Of course it will be better because it will be replaced by Sorin. Actually, what I told the customer is no, not really. This is a design issue. The only way to prevent this in the future is by being careful, extremely careful. I mean, what I'm expecting to see inside, it's actually broken trucks. And there is no way to make it better than how it was before. I mean, maybe it will be solid. But being sold, it has a limit. The port, it will not move, okay? But if the customer is moving the charger up and down, yeah? What do you have on the back of the port? You have the pins. And you don't have trucks anymore. Yeah, so if the customer is moving the port, yeah, the, the, the trucks, which I'm going to repair the trucks probably with wires, uh, you know, okay, wires is fine, but having, like, trucks, like, original tracks there it's even better now let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside i mean okay it is a design issue but here i can see the metal is bent not sure if you can see it the metal uh probably you can't see it right so actually the metal next to the charging port is bent so clearly the port or somehow the laptop fell on the on the charger. And yeah, that can be, you know, a good reason for the port to get broken. And the laptop is open. Yeah, that's a classic uh, Huawei motherboard. Um, it's not much what we can do here. We have to reach the charging port, the other side of the charging port. Possible they replaced the mother, but I can see some uh, marks of, of someone being here. Let me take the board out quickly. And the board, it's out. It should be out. Yeah. We have this, uh, this flex cable here. Let's have a look at the charging port. And the charging port. Yeah, this port has not been repaired before. Ah, uh, yeah, every pin is broken. Like every pin, every track. Not sure if you can see it, but every track is broken. You can see? Check here. So, yeah, we do have to repair this. No point replacing the port. The port is good. Let me take out this metal shield. <gasps> it's here. Yeah, it's here. Good. I'm going to do a small incision here. Perfect. Great. Let's take the port out. Actually, you know what? Why why we should take the port out? It's not really helpful if we are taking the port out. Yeah, no point taking the port out. 
let's clean the tracks and solder the pins. That's all what we can do here. So what I need, I need those pins together all. I need these pins together. I need these two pins together. The port is moving. Let me bend these fingers. Okay, here we have one pin, which is fine. Yeah, all pins are bent actually. Hmm. Two pins together here. Now let's clean the paint from the from the pads from the tracks. Here no, because we have a point here. Yeah, this one is fine. This one is fine. This one is fine. And we have this one. And this one. Okay, it is looking good. Then we have the plus pin. Yeah, only one pin. One pin will be fine. Perfect. Cleaning and we can see clearly what's going on there. Yeah, good. Now let's start doing some soldering. You know what I will do? Something what I normally don't do it. Um, I think I'm gonna use gel flux because I really want to see what's going on here. We're gonna use the Wharton uh, gel flux. Good, because it's more transparent. Wait, the solar iron is not on. Perfect. We have the solder iron. Let's prime the pads with solder. Good, good, perfect, perfect, check that. So here we have two pins, yeah? These two pins. Perfect, here we have three pins, or all, all ground. Yeah, I need hot air. Hot air, 330. Good ground pins, perfect. Then here we have the plus pin. Solid, and we have the ground pins here. Yeah, we need hot air. I can't do it then. Uh, I'm gonna try to solder the pins here. Like that, yeah. Now let's put solder. Perfect. 
Perfect. What do you think? Huh? Now I'm going to use a wire to rebuild the tracks. Plugs. Then we have this pin. here good then this one i think this one is soldered to the pin yeah it is then the next one i think it is yeah it is this one has to be soldered here perfect then this one has to be soldered here yeah perfect then the next one has to be here perfect then the next one uh, has to be here Perfect. Then this one, good, has to be here. Good. Then this one has to be here. But here is not that much solar on the pad. Yeah, nice, perfect. So what do you think? Hmm? It will work or not, that's my question. Desk, let's grab a charger. We have the charger, we have the meter, and plug in the charger. And the meter is coming on, and we have the charging light. 19 volts. Hmm? Moving the port up and down, solid. From this side, meter is coming on, again, solid, huh? what do you think? Now the important part is starting now, we have to make this port solid, so let's use some solder, I mean it is solder, you can see it's not moving from here, but let's make it even more solid. Yeah, we need some hot air. Perfect. Yeah. Then this one. Then here we have this one. Yeah, we need hot air. And this one is fine, yeah? It is. I mean, we can... Uh, we can even do what we did on the other side. Try to solder these pins. Yeah, we ground. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Uh, now let me clean it. I'm going to use some um, hot glue here. Hot glue or UV gel? What do you think? I will say hot glue. I mean, yeah, UV gel is, is, has more strength, but the problem is I don't want strength here. Yeah, I don't want it. I want the port to move. So if the customer is forcing the port up and down, I want slightly this port to move. 
yeah so i'm happy for the wires here you know just having having a little bit of wiggling on the here can be only better let me clean it uh, solid connections are not great they cannot eat mechanical shocks looking good yeah let's put this back perfect let me grab the laptop uh, the idea is we have to move fast because the hot glue it will uh, harden very quickly let me let me connect the flex first this one now hot glue I need 480, good, perfect, let's put board the board quickly, and the board is back in place, let's put the screws quickly, and now it's solid. We have the port on the board, and we have hot glue between the board and uh, the the palm rest. Yeah, and it's holding the the port uh, under pressure. So if we are plugging a charger now, plugging the charger, ooh, ooh, quite uh, quite tight, and it's working great. Quite tight. Why is tight? Good question. Let's see. I mean, it's not bad to be tight, but let's see why. Because if we have hot glue on the port, it's not good. And yeah, you can't see it, but we do have some hot glue there. Yeah, that's why it's tight. Here. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, now it's out. Now we are fine. So now if we're plugging the charger, ah, oh, perfect, perfect. And it's working great, solid. Let me put it all back together, just give me like a few minutes. So everything is back in place. Let's plug the battery. Good, let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. And the meter it is coming on. Pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. It's taking like 1.3 amps. And we have picture, yeah. Well, we have picture before, yeah. It was not charging. It's loading the windows. It's taking like 3 amps. 3.1 amps. Which is 60 watts. Yeah, and it's charging fine. We have the charging sign there. Again, proper solid. We can test it from the other side. From here, plug in the charger. Yeah, solid. Two amps. Let's see if it's going up. You have to wait a little bit for the charging current. 2.3. Three amps, yeah? That's 60 watts. So probably the limit it is 60 watts. Let me shut down the laptop. I mean, not sure what it's supposed to do with this one. It's moving all around. But I think it's pressed by the by the back cover, right? Yeah. So, hmm? it was a hard job. It's not that hard, but you need a microscope. Yeah, you need a good one. With a microscope, you can do this job. I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.